very cool. Stay uncomfortable over here and be broke. You will die a loser. You'll die with regrets. Your kids will look up to someone else. Your wife will admire someone else. You'll look in the mirror and hate yourself. Good fucking job. I would rather take the hard life of having a shitty ass fucking check. Yep. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying, the shameless, uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't want to be one of the nameless. I'm going to wake up with the mindset this that This is when we up. all meet up and we, and we test each other. This is test day. This is the combine. The combine is where the people train outside of the combine and they show up to run, right? Uh, yeah. Let me give you an example. Do you sell? Yeah. Come here. Come here, I want to show you something. This is Combine 101 in sales. Just watch. What's your name? Cooper. How long have you been selling for? Uh, two years. Cool. What do you sell? I uh, Toyota. Okay, you sell cars? Yes, sir. Me and you go on a test drive, 2018 Nissan Altima. Get off the test drive. We're standing in front of the building, right? Keep me the trial clothes. Ask me to buy it. So if, I, if the numbers lined up, is this the car that you would see yourself driving home today? No, I need to go home and think about it. I completely understand. There has been a lot to think about, but I haven't given you all the information that you've needed. If you have five quick minutes, I can take you inside and give you the proposal so that we have all the info. Time out. We go on a test drive. We get off the test drive. We get back off the test drive. Hit me at the trial close. Again. <laughs> Again. Trial close. I totally understand. I haven't given you all the information. No, no, no. Hit me the trial clothes. Ask me to buy the car again. I'm going with another objection. I'm going to run you through some objections. And I'm going to figure out where his breaking point is. Hit me at the trial clothes again. Andy, if I could get the deal right, would you be happy to take it home? So, Andy, if I could uh, get the numbers right, is this the car that you'd take home? I got a couple more cars I want to go look at. Thanks for letting me test drive it. I'm going to get back with you. Go. I totally understand, but uh, as we were talking before, this is the first dealership that you've come to. Um, Normally people, <laughs> normally people go to the, the dealership that they like first. Uh, more Look, you were just the closest to me. I got two more I want to go see. You were closest to me, so I came to you first. I'm going to go check out these other two. I'll get back with you. Okay. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments Tell me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. 2100254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Combine, combine. We didn't even get to run two races. Yeah. He's been doing it two years. How many times have somebody told you they got a couple more cars they're going to look at? They're going to get back with you. Uh, quite a bit. Quite a bit. Okay. Let's use common sense for a minute. If I walked up to you and I cracked you across the face mm -hmm. unexpectedly, everybody'd be like, "Oh shit." <laughs> Dude, we didn't see that coming, man. What if I walked up to him again and I had my hand like this? You think he'd let me hit him twice? Okay. Okay. He's been selling for two years. And in two years, almost every day he goes to work, someone says, I got a couple more cars to go look at. I'm going to get back with you. He's getting the shit beat out of him and he doesn't care because if he cared he'd do something about it and you'd be great at it right yes sir so you don't know it and here we are two years in how much money is the average car deal in a dealership say it's 500 bucks let's say he misses four deals a week just four because of this objection that's two grand two times 52 just do the math it's a lot of money that's just Hypothetically. Let's go through all the other objections. Okay. Tell me you got a couple more cars to go look at. All right, I got a couple more cars to look at. Hey, number one, I totally understand. Let me ask you a question. Are the cars you're going to go look at similar to the ones that me and you just drove or completely different? Which one? I completely the same. So they're going to be the same? Yes, sir. Okay. Hypothetically, let's say that you went and looked at all the other vehicles. I don't care if there was two of them or ten of them. And you spent all day driving them, every single one of them. And then let's say my beautiful 2018 Nissan Altima with 38,000 miles, pearl white, black leather interior. Let's say it was the last one you went and looked at. After seeing every car, all of them, in the end, what would be the deciding factor on which one you ended up buying? Would it be the car itself, regardless of the deal, or the great deal the dealership's willing to give you? Which one? The great deal. Cool. So it's not a matter of if you're going to buy, it's when, and the when is when the deal's right, right? Yeah. Cool. So if I could save you some time and money, would that offend you in any way? Would you be upset with me at all? Not at all. Thank goodness. I'm going to take his ass 
mess inside and I'm closing them. Why? Because that's my job. When somebody does their job, that's like how they get to stay at their job. Isn't it fun? crazy that people get to stay at their job that don't know how to do their job. Could you imagine going to fucking McDonald's and a dude's over there making burgers and he don't know how to fucking make one. And you're like, like, what's going on in there, man? That's what it's like walking into a sales company. Sales companies' jobs are to make sales. Am I right? Right. They don't know how to do their fucking job. But they're all running around big dicking each other. Uh -huh. I'm fucking bad, dude. Uh -huh. Dude, you closed nothing but people who came in here and said, I ain't gonna leave unless I buy something. Uh -huh. They already had their mind made up. <laughs> Listen to me. You don't do anything but cost us money. Listen, my goal with all of you is this. Get up here, show us you know it. If you don't know it, you better train or settle. That's it. You guys all have a choice today. We settle. We say, F it, it's too hard. I would rather take the hard life of having a shitty ass fucking check. Yep. I'm uncomfortable over there, dude. I don't like that. Okay, cool. Stay uncomfortable over here and be broke. Yep. You will die a loser. You'll die with regrets. Your kids will look up to someone else. Your wife will admire someone else. You'll look in the mirror and hate yourself. Mm -hmm. Good fucking job. No ways. I'll stay over here and I'll fight. I will be coachable. That's a, that's a skill, by the way, to be coachable. I'll be coachable. I'll drop my pride, my ego, my entitlement. I'll be a sponge. Your student is here, teacher. Let's go. I'm going to take every thing you know, and I'm going to soak it up, all of it. And then, once I get it, I'm going to keep elevating it my whole life, but then I'm going to teach it to my future team, because a team can't be beat. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are, set your notifications, and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.